We go on things, which is kind of what I do. Yeah, there's really nothing. There's only really. There's really only one thing to approve anyway, um, and that's the last thing on the agenda. So, right, well, um, so we can't approve the minutes, but we will look. The east side terminal plan, uh, where we are on that, you know, we approve the the probably Friday and ask him where it was and he said they hadn't heard back, but not not hearing back is a good thing. While I'm on this, I will talk a little bit. I think I sent all of y'all a Bottom line, I didn't say that in the article, the, the project came in $3,000 over budget, on a $3.2 million project, which I think is pretty good. And we were 30 days, you know, 30 days late, if you will, which really wasn't a, you know, wasn't a problem since we didn't get phase four funding, but I felt. Will, why don't you and Sherry Lee kind of talk about that a little bit? We had a yeah. good meeting. Do you want me to come yes, over? please do. Okay. <laughs> yes. I'll yield to you, Shirley. Are we good? <coughs> Go ahead. So, the, is this, are we? We're live. Okay. We're still, we're off. We're not a quorum, but we're still on. Okay. We're not a quorum. So, uh, I guess about October of last year, I know the mayor had started talking with some of the universities, Auburn, Alabama, others, and then I started reaching out to is uh, under construction and doing really well in a lot of programs and then they have K through 12 programs. As it was what happened yesterday. So the head of the um, Aviation Center, Bill Hutto, came along with James. Who was James's? Hold on. I'm going to have to cheat. Bird song, bird, bird young song. blood, bird song, yeah, blood words. Yeah. Uh, so uh, they came out and spent the day with us, or a good portion of the day, until mm -hmm. after lunch. And we talked about it was just a preliminary conversation for the opportunity. Except for the bird song's presentation on kind of the future of aviation. Yeah. Be great to have him. Number present. of pilots retiring, number of air traffic controllers, mm -hmm. you know, things that they're doing. I mean, from really from academicians' viewpoint of what, the, uh, you know, I just thought it was just great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, it and, was. and to me, I mean, yes, there, there's a shortage in the field, which we, we talked about, you know, the um, firing of all the air traffic controllers under the Reagan administration and, and then the baby boomer retiring. Um, statistics. So there is a massive shortage that combined with our gl um, globalism and travel, air travel ramping up is creating a huge opportunity. And if we're able to work with our aviation academy that we already have there, which is a fantastic program, and provide some sort of pipeline for kids to get into aviation and get some training and get them excited about these opportunities, a lot of them don't even know that it's a possibility for them to go into this field. Um, having Auburn at the table to provide some of that pipeline that then leads to jobs. Um, that's what we want. So that was that was the idea behind getting them here. And in preparing for about our meeting, I reached out to Lee Lawson. There are 1,300 aviation jobs within 50 miles of the airport. Mm -hmm. That's UTC, Aero, Seegers, and Continental. That's a, and he said it was the biggest aviation cluster in Alabama. So, I mean, so those A and B jobs, you know, we training people for those jobs, Auburn saw that as part of their mission, so, which, was, which was my takeaway from the, um, you know, we talked about drones and we talked about a lot of other things, but. Yes, um, and agriculture, and they say we have some unique opportunities on the Eastern Shore and especially, you know, in our area for agriculture and drone technology. Some of that is still being developed, but nothing but, um, yeah. Nothing but positive conversations out of it. So 
we'll go on from here. And I agree with you. I think that presentation was fantastic. It'd be great to have it here for this. We, I request a copy. James hasn't responded, but I'll follow up if he doesn't. Road trip offer. Yeah. Um, what's, 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 your, what's your next step? Yeah. Um, so CJ and I are going to talk next week, yeah. and we'll we'll do a follow up and see you know what sounded like it worked for them, what kind of opportunities, and then toward what we really think works. And I don't know how does that sound to y'all? Y'all think yeah. that sounds like good? Sounds good. I think it's as good an idea. I mean, it's a great idea. I think yeah. It's a great partnership and collaboration between. Yeah. And especially with them having the aerospace engineering department and kind of insight into this industry. Mm -hmm. And they just broke out. They, yeah, they just broke out aviation into its own department. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. I mean, so that's a that's a that's a positive move. Definitely. And I'm I'm going to say this. I, I genuinely appreciate Mayor Wilson being there. I thought she was very supportive. I mean, she was all about trying to make mm -hmm. something happen. Yeah, she is very much. So we will we'll do it. I think it's great for our kids and great for the economy here. The more we can invite this kind of opportunity in. One number that stuck in my mind was that Delta Airlines is starting out A&Ps now at 80000 a year. Yes, that stuck in my, as a matter of fact, I got home and uh, I regurgitated <laughs> that to my kids. I was like, hey, guess what? <laughs> Did you know? And the other thing is that, is that a pilot, you know, lots of things, lots of pilots, but Delta won't interview a pilot unless they have a four-year degree. And about the 2.1. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was funny. He also yeah. said we don't want people landing the plane half the time. That was, so was they need good. to have it. Yeah. It was, it was good. <laughs> so they have to have it. a good GPA. It was very popular. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited about that. And I was just with Auburn again this morning working on the water on fisheries and our marina. So um, you worked working on football plans for Saturday. Oh, in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Thank you for putting that together. Yeah, my pleasure. I look forward to the next steps and keeping y'all informed and, you know. Thank you. Yeah, sure thing. I'll leave y'all to it. Okay. Um, next thing that's, I've done a review of the Sunny County Airport Minimum Standards. Pam's kind of leading that charge. And I, I you know, I guess we'll have a report in December where we are. Um, you know, we, we've got, you know, we've got your input. Uh, she's actually put it in a, in a different format, so I think we can. Okay. All right. Um, the next reporting item, Joe, the CMS. The cameras we're still waiting on. We got it. We got it. I'll, I'll, I'll talk about it. Pam got us a proposal for it. The cameras are basically $16,000, and it seems reasonable to me. The commitment I got from Bill Stromberg is that we would buy the cameras and install the cameras in the gate locks if next in January that he would integrate our system in the, in the CMS system. I don't want a standalone airport authority camera lock. You know what I'm saying? That it would be truly an integrated system and that someone's monitoring and, and we know when things break and whatever, we just wouldn't have cameras on the fence line that no one monitored, no one knew that we're working. So Bill Stromberg said they could do it this year. Right. But they would do it. Uh, that they would be on it. Would be his uh, be a priority for Jan for January of 2018. Now, having said that, Bill Stormer is retiring in December. You know, I don't know if y'all knew that. So anyway, that's. But he did. He did promise me that he would. You know, he promised me his successor would it would be on, on on their to do list. But I, I'd like to go forward with those cameras. Mm -hmm. Only if I get a commitment from Brent Ross that he'll integrate that into his system. Into his, his system. Is that fair? Yeah. Well, yeah, and I mean, I think for purposes of this meeting and the amount that we'd be spending, I think it's just a talking point. I'm not sure yeah. we're not going to run out of time for an item of that budget magnitude. Can we? I mean, well, I'm just, I'm just, I'm going to I'm going to have that conversation with Brett and just say, yeah, you know, we're going to do this. We're going to go ahead. You know, but we want your IT guy to help us put it in, and we want you to make sure it's integrated into, into Continental System. Okay. Okay. I'm just, if yeah. Rhett doesn't, act, so are we ordering them before or after that discussion? I'm going to order them after that discussion. Okay, got it. Okay. Okay. Joe? The concrete, we got the estimate on already. 
forty thousand dollars was high. Did you speak with him about I, that? I didn't. I hadn't, <coughs> talk, I hadn't talked to him. We, you know where the fuel trucks are to dig that area out and replace it. I guess dig it out and replace it with six inches of you know, new poured concrete from Walter con Construction was forty thousand dollars. But I don't know if that was for the I entire pad because I told him to to do an estimate for both for half half of it, which was the worst side. And then, and of course, the other side at a, at a later date. Did Vince have a chance to look at that estimate? Yeah, he, I sent it to him. He didn't. He hadn't responded. Okay. Yeah. I, I think it. I think if it's. You know, I'm not. I want Vince to look at it. We got an estimate. It, I, I'm not going. Forty thousand dollars seems high to me. That's a lot. I know, does seem that, high. That priority would not, not be my highest priority to spend that money. But the side that's deteriorated, it, it is very bad. And, and the, the, the issue there is that we have a fuel truck store in there, and that's you know the. the the rebar is actually sticking up. Oh, we, yeah. could, we could have a you know potential safety issue. I think there's a couple of different ways to look at it. I'd like to talk to Vince about it. I don't know. That, I mean, I know we do have some rebar there, but there's kind of a maybe mill and fill type program maybe. that you can also do on there. That we yeah, I mean, I, I mean, we told Johnny Walton we wanted. I didn't say what's your best idea because that concrete. And, and the worst section that's broken up, you can yeah. you can reach down and pick it up in chunks yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and move well, it out. But, but it's uh, no, I think there's some. I just think I think that I think that estimate is way too high. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. probably what like a forty by sixty spot. Or I'll, I'll send you the estimate. He's got quantities and materials and everything. I'll send you that. That way you can if you, if you want you and Vince can look at it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. And I spoke with the. Public safety today on the on the helipad, um, what they're doing now, towing their skid out there and launch her from there. They're cool. They're fine with that. Okay. So that's a, that's not, a resolved issue then. Right, because they can hover taxi. It's not going to affect any of the tied down aircraft. Okay. And if they do, we did discuss they have larger aircraft that come down occasionally from Montgomery, mm -hmm. and they can use the old taxiway if they have to. But it's okay. not an issue. So that's a that's a re resolved. Right. The okay. distance markers on all the lights, uh, Kyle Kleiner, is, um, we're just waiting on those to be shipped. I think we're, we're waiting for the distance marker on the run. That's an insurance item. Right. It's a six-week lead time. I think that's been ordered. Right. We're waiting for it. Um, we, under CHIP's leadership, we've made a conscious effort to, um, to get all the, all the lights back working. We've had some, and I think we're probably at 95%, which is right. probably the highest we've been in a while. Are all the runway lights, lights working? The PAPI, the runway and identifier lights and the edge lights? There might be. I think there are the other, I landed on Sunday night, was it? And I counted four or five. Yeah, there was, um, it might be out. Six okay. runway lights that are, we're waiting on. Runway on, lights, on PAPI, the edge lights. Looking, the PAPI and the runway and the identifier mm -hmm. lights. Yeah. Because those do require no. Yeah, so they were the working. Package. They were working. On Sunday night they were. And we just kind of, the Pappy and Real Lights have always been our priorities, and they are working. They are working. And then Joe is going to once a month before the before this meeting is going to fly, going to give us a report of what percentage are you know, are, mm -hmm. are, are out. And I guess your report is that we've got ninety five percent. Correct. There are six six runway lights that are out, and four six four of the. Um, the uh, directional signs are still not working, and that's because of the circuit board issue. Mm -hmm. or I think it was the transform that was affecting those. Well, we've got a plan. We're we'll working the plan. Uh, <coughs> you know, I, flew, I expect the in court December that we'll have everything operational, and we've we've done some things a little differently, uh, but we, we we're going to work through this. And we spent some money too. We've probably spent eight or nine thousand mm -hmm. dollars getting to this point, but it's just something that we. Uh, we needed to do. Then uh, I spoke with Brian Dunn today. He came out to do an estimate yeah. on the striping. So he's working that estimate up right now. And when he comes out the stripe, can you highlight the, um, the heliport too? The heliport, can you stripe the. We can do that area and just make it a non movement area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Just, just a quick note we need to be real careful when we say things like landing a helicopter. They're not authorized to take off or land. They're authorized to go into a hover and hover to the taxiway or the runway. They cannot take off or land directly to the ramp. 
So I think what you're talking about is the round H. That's only used to take off the land. But We've got, yeah, I'm learning as I can. Yes, I understand that. The area where we were talking about striking is actually the ramp. I know you have a taxiway on here, but we were talking about the south ramp. So that's what it should be, Joe, the ramp where we're going to strike? Correct. Okay. In front of the... Uh, and we can go right to that with the um, all their construction material has been removed from the field right, right next to the public safety, so it's clear, it's clean, and it's it's clear. Yeah, there's nothing left there. The uh, on the culvert that was David Young that I sent the pictures to about. He's the gentleman that designs the or builds the walkways that's going to go across the culvert. So I'm waiting an estimate from him. Is he going to be a Wooden covered or uh, a metal covered? I mean, um, wooden bridge or a metal? I asked them to do one for a, just a metal grate, yeah. oh, like a catwalk almost, yeah, 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 with, yeah. Um, you know, to traverse that, that culvert. But that way it would be a galvanized metal. Yeah. It won't, because if you put pressure treated lumber, it's gonna, eventually it's going to rot. Yeah. And in the weather stripping, we have rolls of it. To replace on the door seals. Okay. It's just a matter of taking the screws out, slide, sliding the old um, weather stripping out, inserting the so new you, strip. So you're in the process of doing right. that. Just for which, which hangers? All the ones that need it on the okay. T. All the T not, hangers. Not all of them at once, but just just the ones that need it. Right. You got the old T hangers and the, and the newer, the old city hangers and the, the newer T hangers. Does that include the sweeps also, Joe? Yes, I'm, I'm getting rolls of those as well. So we can put those um, along the bottom of the doors. Okay. Anything else? Anything needs to be added to the list? We we did an inspection a while back, Joe and I did, and we noted that there were fire extinguishers in some of the old hangers, but not in the new hangers. I did confirm with Chip it is required in the minimum standards under uh, 2G. Okay. Sorry, correction, 5G AX. Each FBO shall provide an adequate supply of properly located type size and protective equipment. All fire extinguishers must be current. I did I did check with Chip. They are required to have fire extinguishers in all the T hangers and ramp areas. And right now those are not in place. And so Joe's working on that. Skelton came out. Yeah, Skelton came out to give us an estimate on the fire extinguishers and also on extinguishers for the ramp. How many extinguishers do you think we need? One T. He's going to bring twenty four. But there's some hangers that already have them in there, so he's going to mount them, so it'd be less than that. So 20, the 18 is around. And you think this is a CMS expense? Yes, sir. It is. Chip, it's chip required. By the, mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Anything else? The grass cutting? Yeah, I mean, I'm mm -hmm. not going to cut the grass anymore until more. I but I, I've had that conversation. I, no. We're going to fully delineate what we're going to. I mean, we'll, right. we'll get we'll get the grass cut. Yeah, I've got an understanding of what. what you're okay. Going to cut. Especially around all the taxiway lights and the runway lights, being able to to edge, you know, tr yeah. trim all the. Yeah. And then the. Uh, and we've also got to, we also spraying the, the we grass. We also have to cut the grass on these side too. Mm -hmm. I mean, again, I'm not going. To, we're through our we we do eight grass cuttings a year. Right. And we're through our grass cuttings for the year. I mean, right. We start again in March, but we. We've got to add, you know, cut grass mm -hmm. on the east side too. Right. So. And then spraying the cracks in the um, old taxiway and the yeah, runaway for Yeah, that was part of the. Y'all saw the. Um, I sent all of you the um, report uh, from the Aeronautics Bureau, and that was one of their findings was so, um, spray, I guess, more on the taxiway than on the main runway. Is that right? Correct. And then we, and then we replaced the lights for the. Um, the Show the, the on the wind sock. Yes, sir. We've they're, done that. They're working. Okay. Okay. So that was there were three. There were lights, just general lights, mm -hmm. the wind sock light, and the and spraying for spraying the wheat. Okay. Correct. Okay. That's good. Anything else? Okay. Uh, Treasurer's report. Yes. Got a copy of the latest balance sheet and statement. Um, the expenditures for the month that were very limited. Um, as he just mentioned, the last um, payment to Bushwhackers, the grass cutting service was made. So. 
there was one that was classified, slotted wrong. That was a twenty two thousand six hundred forty one dollar charge to the company in Greenwood, in Greenwood, Mississippi, for uh, Leo Murphy's company. It was slotted in the in the uh, it was slotted in in ground maintenance. It should have been slotted in buildings and maintenance. It was for some repair for some lights, but we have paid that. That was just you know I didn't catch it to this afternoon. So, um, is there anything else, Joe, that you can? Pretty much. I mean, we color. Basically, the uh, you know we we set up the um, yeah we've got 146 48 148,000 in that PNC account that we'll basically use for the um, for the 2017 2018 that you know our five percent contribution. So we basically have about three hundred thousand dollars in cash, you know, basically operating cash this year. Um, you know, so we're we're, fine. we're 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 okay, but we do have about you know, probably forty five to fifty thousand dollars for maintenance items. Just you know, but we're 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 okay. Anything else? We, we still don't have the. Um, we I should. Can you go by um, Bryant Bank and sign the signature card sometime? Yeah, I can. Okay. Just that's that's all right. I talked to her when I, I know. I'm going to do it. I've just been out of town, so just do that. We still don't have the PNC account, you know. We've, we've and I, but I'll work on that. We don't write any checks on that. We won't write any checks on that probably for another month. But the PNC, we have to, you know, we have to change all the signature cards. So that's really it. Any any other business? Yes. Talk about the holiday closing hours. Just want to make sure that we're all on the same page. Okay. Joe, are you okay with that? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I I'm going to be there Thursday morning. I do have a a uh, wheels up flight coming in at 7:30, so I will be there to fuel them. On Wednesday. On Thursday. On Thursday. Thanksgiving Day. So I didn't. So you charge him five hundred dollars for a special. That's not. No, sir. That's not what. Um, that's what Continental. When I when I took over, that's what they had been charging for a call out. And I'm basing this on if they purchase fuel, which the call outs that I've that I've been to or been been there for, I have not charged the customer that because they purchased fuel. Okay. But I am going to set. Up, I am going to base the call out fee on the type aircraft. And, How much but but I but it is high. And, and it's, it's just too high. So traditionally we've closed Thanksgiving Day and Christmas Day. Is that right? Yes, sir. It's, mm -hmm. and, but I never remember the board approving those days. And, and according to the lease, they have to be approved. They do have to. Yeah, and right. we, since we don't have a quorum, we can't really approve them today. Mm -hmm. But, uh, we'll, you know, I mean, anyway, we're, I, mean, I think if you should note them. Tell, tell people that you're closed on right. Thanksgiving, I think we're fine. And I've no, already notified all the base customers, yeah. and I've, I've posted a sign in the lobby as well as on the door. But I do have my number if there is an emergency or, or a customer needs assistance to call the number. And going forward, we'll, we'll, the, the authority will approve, you know, like Christmas and Thanksgiving, the, the meeting beforehand. Right. Does that make sense, Josh? Mm hmm okay. We've never missed doing that before. Any other new business or any other business? We were, okay, Josh, we're going to go into executive session and talk about something, but since we're not going into executive session, why don't you just tell everybody about the lawsuit? Can you do that? I would like not to. Okay. <laughs> then we're, it's, we're, it's pending litigation. Okay. It's something that should be talked about in executive session. Okay. That's fair. All right. Well, since we never actually opened, we won't adjourn that. <laughs> Could you go back to the east side terminal plan and and tell me exactly what's pending approval. There's a, a, a map. Um, so, yeah. It's the one you sent out. Sent it out last meeting. We approved it, and it went to FAA for final approval. And is this the one that didn't get under the wire for the current year? Now that's. I mean that's. No. Thank you, sir. <laughs> um, that's the the ultimate build out plan. That is the disconnect between funding and the plan. The plan is up for approval now. And the plan is the, the, that plan will, will, is what's going to guide funding. It had nothing about not being funded this year. The money would you know the money would have come. We've been working. We've been spending 
we spent eleven million dollars about having that plan in place. You know, so that, I'm not sure that that's that's. But, but we formalized the plan. We're actually, you know, we we you know we've actually changed some ownership issues on some of the land and whatever that is part of that plan. But but the application that's pending approval now is is for what? What portion of it? To, for the east side plan. The whole plan. The east side, yes. As a map to as go. A, map. As a map. Okay. Now okay. there was yeah. No funding involved no, in this no approval that you're talking about. Okay. okay. Next year we'll start the approval process for the, the application. We won't, we've actually already applied. We did a pre-application in, in August. The, the way I understand the process is that in January, Dr. Egerton and Kevin Morgan, our contact with FAA, sit down and they prioritize the state with us. And then at that point in time, Kevin Morgan takes you know, takes the plan, you know, they finish the plan, and then they prioritize it regionally, and we get a, a confirmation usually in the uh, April, April, May time frame. Now, having said that, we got a promise last year in April that we were going to go forward, and then in July we lost the funding. Yeah, so. I remember. Okay, okay. thanks. Got it. Anything else, Joe? Yes, sir. Okay. Thank y'all for coming. Sorry we for the little pickup. No problem. Happy Thanksgiving.